Hello everybody, welcome back to all the mods Gravitas 2. So just like previous episode I've said, this one we are not gonna be doing any machine at all because we don't have any steel uh, left and I have to make more of them. Which is why in today's episode we will make the uh, create drill. Uh, if you've seen, if you have seen like others people playing create you will see that they have a contraption for create drill and that's what we're gonna do today so first off we need the drill itself right so this thing which is really easy so this is how you make the drill and the size the size of the drill what the okay that's six that was scary the size of the drill I will want to make it a 16 by 16 meaning it's a whole like basically a full chunk uh, drill so every time it's mining it's going to mine a full uh, chunk 16 by 16 so that it, uh, it's going to like clear out the whole chunk and not like leaving anything left that's what I will make so, and in between episode I have made like or like prepare a bunch of resources already and hopefully that's that those are going to be enough so in this over here i have exactly 16 by 16 so uh what is it four times yeah four so four times four so 16 and then 16 and each of these is 16 so 16 by 16 and then we need a bunch of igneous zinc alloy uh i don't know if i have enough Places, spaces. So I'm gonna craft a bunch of them. So I'm gonna craft all of them, and I'll be back when we have everything. All right. I think this is exactly 16 by 16. So 256, and 256 divided by 32 is 8. So 8 stack of this thing, and we also need 8 stack of linear chassis like this. So. The reason we need the lightning chassis is that we can attack, attack the uh, attach the drill into it and attach the lightning chassis into the contraption. So to make the contraption, we want a cut assembler, which I already made. It's pretty easy. It's cheap as well. And then we need a gear shift, which we already made as well. And the last one, so here's how to make a gear shift. And the last one is like the rope pulley. The rope pulley is going to be used to basically uh, let the mach the, con uh, the drill go down and then pull it up. That's just uh, what the rope pulley did, uh, does. And the recipe is also cheap. It's wool and like that. And we want a rotation speed controller. We want windmill and also we want a windmill bearing. We don't have enough space. Uh, hopefully this is enough. Okay, let me see. What can I put away so that we can have enough space? Probably this. And we need a windmill bearing. That should be everything. Hopefully, is there anything else though? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh uh, man, so many things. Let's let 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 me put in here first. Okay, that's enough space now. We need radio chassis and also glue tube, one gearbox, and hmm. oh, a minecart and a rail. Oh, we don't even have enough space as well. What's going there? Minecart and a rail. Where can I put more spaces? Is the vessel can hold anything here? Yeah, you can. Let's go. Uh, two and a rail. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. And also two. Uh, what is it? Two. Um. Uh, lever. Where's? I need two stick. There we go. So how is this thing is gonna look? And. We're gonna try to put it over here. 
have some torch down so you can see you can, you can see okay so first off we need to put the real perks down uh let me see what is the f3 of this this is one chunk right here right so um okay i'm just gonna put it down first put the rail down first and then from there we will make we will count one chunk from there so we put we put the rail down we put the cut assembly assembler onto the rail and the minecart onto this so from there everything uh connect to this cut assembler we can just put a lever like we can put a lever and then we can just uh activate it and it will pop up and you can use the um create branch to pick up the whole thing as one item that's what we're gonna do and also we need this thing as well so i'm gonna put the rotational speed controller here that and this thing go on top and you go and then we go with one vertical gearbox so that we can put the windmill bearing on top of it we need some blocks so that i can i can jump up them on top of it okay give me some blocks here we go so while we are here i want to connect all of them because if we do not connect all of them, then it's not going to be like working, basically. So we need to go up here. And for, at this block, on this block, we want the radio chassis. I will do eight of them because then I will be able to put a... Where's my, where's my others one here? I'll be able to put 48 of these... Um, we will sell so let's go up a bit um let's go like that it's, it's dark now it's dark here there we go let's put a touch down so you guys can see what i was um, what, what i'm doing so i'm gonna put like no Come on, this ah, it's so annoying. Okay. Not like that. How do we how do we make it so that okay? Here we go. go. Up, 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 down, 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 and yeah, one more down. Here we go, and then same thing here. Go up, 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 up. Down, 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 and same thing here. And eight of them. We will go around here, this side, and put this, all of them in here too. So here, that, and there we go. So that is like the the first one then we will put four of them i guess so two one two three four oh okay. four of them another one two three four take this block out okay so this should be another one two three four here one, two three four and the last side is also one two three four and we need a better pickaxe huh eventually i want to make the um what is it the laser drill laser no no, no. mining mining thingy the mining from uh yeah this thing mining gadget but uh making this is easy but like charging it is kind of annoying i think we can do it now but i don't i don't want to like do machine right now because it's, we just made like a bunch of you know, great tech machine it's really and like it's really like draining and stuff so the last four there we go 
So that should be around 3,000 SU. Yeah, 3,072. Uh, and then from there, from this block, so that is the, the energy done. And then from now we go to the like the main thingy, the main like machine. From there we put a no before that I need to have the blue to on me. From here we put a gear shift. And from the gear shift we put a rope pulley like this. So that is like connect as well. So they are all connected. You can see you can see it here. See that? Everything is connected. So when we up, pop this thing up it will all move at the same time and then we want the linear chassis over here uh, nope not that there uh, I don't, we don't need to do that we don't need to do we don't need to connect the bluetooth on the linear chassis you can connect this to that oh it okay, already connect okay so from there, I want to. How are we gonna go around about this? Uh, wait, did I see here? What is this? What is this eight? Is that because we can only go eight at a time? If that's okay, then uh, it's kind of bad for us. Okay, let's just do it first. So from here, I want to go sixteen. Hopefully, 16 is like doable. If not, then uh, we will find another way. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's just break down everything first. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, there we go, that should be 16, and we just go inside and cover all this, alright, that's exactly 16 by 16, everything clean, now we need to basically connect everything, connect all of the uh, drill under this, into this thing. So to do that, we just have to do like this. I may have to pick oh, every, like the whole place uh, out so that we have uh, spaces to basically attach it. So, but what we do is just going to be like this. We're just going to hold like this and like that. No! Oh my god. Not that. Like this. Oh come on, really? Actually we can we can we can Okay, we can do that. There we go. So we do like this. Okay, yeah, we have to like super close to it so that it can attach to it so yeah we're just gonna do it or everything i'm have to i probably have to like clean out the whole area here so that we can go around and do every single one of them so yeah i'm gonna do it and i'll be right back okay i think this is pretty much everything uh everything connect you can see it's like from like everything from here to here all the way to here everything connected so yeah, I think in, this should be working. So you have to put the lever over here, one over there and one over here. This one is to basically, if you off it, it's gonna go down. And if you on it, it's gonna pull it up. That's what this lever is gonna be. And this lever is gonna be able, it's gonna be used to pop, pop this thing up. So when I right click this thing it's gonna pop up and then you use the wrench shift right click the uh, minecraft and you pick it up so there we go and i should be able to pick the whole thing up uh, uh what 
Yeah, there you go. I don't know why I can't shift right click because of the card assembler. So this is the minecart contraption. And it should be like the whole thing. And when I put it down, it's going to be the, the like the whole machine. Really huge. And I can just put it everywhere I want. So I can just put it out and like this. And voila. See that? It's the whole machine. And connected. Everything connected. There we go. Yep. Oh my god. So dark. Everything connected. Nothing missing. Yep. But yeah, we pretty much make this thing finish. Now, every time we want, we're just gonna hit push. Pick it up. Uh, take this thing as well. And this thing. So this, this stuff right here. This three, four, the lever, the cut assembler, the rail, and the contraption are like our machine, our mining machine, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I will show you guys what it looks like when um, mining, basically when it's mining, when it's working. Uh, I'll wait until morning, and then I'll show you guys like on a random, like basically vein that I found or like some way out out there so yeah i'll just wait until morning and i'll be right back okay uh one thing i forgot uh about this construction is that we need storage for them so i've just made like eight stack of maple chest uh i don't think we need all of them because i also made bronze crate as well so i'm gonna use bronze crate as uh as a um what is it as a um storage but uh I'm gonna use mainly maple chest and hopefully they are enough. So let's just go all the way here. Okay. So I'm gonna put everything in and then connect them together, like glue them all together. And hopefully this is like enough to so that it can go as deep as possible. And we don't have to like oh pull it up because it, uh, it's full or it's like something happened with the storage we don't have enough storage or something all right so this is all the chest in here so i have to glue everything and it should all pop up when we uh right click this thing so let's see also here you go yeah okay so Oh, come on, what's that? Uh, that's so annoying. I hit things. There we go. And we push a bit so that it go out. And there we go. So everything is in here, even the chest. Just have to pick everything up and now I can go into one of the vein and I'll show you guys like what it looks like when we uh when it's working basically. So yeah I'll see you guys at the vein. I'll search for a vein that we haven't like basically basically a vein of it uh or that we haven't have a lot yet. Either iron or tin or something like that. Alright, I think I found something we actually really need. You see here, you see this thing here? Vanadium, vanadium magnetite. That is one of the things we need for, um, I think, uh, what is that thing? Uh, inscriber. This thing. So, you remember that we need manual sapling, right? To make, uh, to basically going into integrated dynamic without, like, using the thing from the quest book, right? I want to go like the hard way, basically. Instead of like having handed handed like the the, the free integrated dynamic. So in order in order to get the manual sapling, we need uranium. I of ender is pretty easy. We can go into the Nether sapling. Everyone like it's everywhere. But we need the, an inscriber. An inscriber. It has this thing over here. Everything else we can make. And it's only an MV tier, meaning that we can technically do it right now. But uh, I'm gonna have to wait a bit because we're gonna have to like do a lot of other stuff first. But one of the but one of the ingredient to make the inscriber, it's the vanadium vanadium steel plate. 
and this thing you can get from uh, this thing vanadium steel dust or you can do it do it from the uh, alloy blast basically you do this you either mix alloy blast melter or you do uh what is it yeah electric blast furnace then which is why we haven't done this yet because we need either blast furnace or blast melter and you blast melt up basically you blast them that you, you blast the eat the vanadium steel dust into the ingot and the vanadium steel dust is from mixing chromium vanadium and steel dust still in chromium we have a lot of and but vanadium is from uh where is it uh yeah vanadium magnetite dust and this thing it's basically an ore it's a ore over here where is it i can see it yeah here and this is thing raw vanadium magnetite and in overworld it also the vein that has this uh, vanadium magnetite also have magnetite and gold but mainly we want the vanadium magnetite and that's what we saw on this here it's right over here and it's close to our old bases so i think it's over this way uh this way yeah it's this way so i'm gonna put my uh put my um what is it my contraption down on this whole chunk to my the whole chunk over here so i'm gonna let me see where is it where are we we are in this trunk we want to go this way to the so next chunk so this trunk over here it's so dark this trunk over here so inside here so i want to mine this whole chunk down and we can put our thing right here okay, let's put the thing down rail this way this thing and then we put oh my god it's too much oh it's it's loading it's loading just wait a minute what the hell is happening here? I just looped the whole setup again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um. Uh, so. I need to put down chest first. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up this thing and I'll tell you guys, like, what happened here. Like, basically, what happened uh, in, like, this mess over here all right so i just finished clearing out everything and uh, <laughs> oh, so okay let, 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 let me explain first so what you guys see the first like the first couple of like, the before the, the the disaster right where my contraption just is completely like break and stuff and it crashed my game and i can't even join back in because when I joined back in, because I was here, I was right on top, right next to the contraption. Whenever I joined back in, it will load the contraption. But then, because it cannot load the contraption, I will I will literally like on the crashing screen every time. So I can't even get into the game. And like, there's no safe backup because well, I would never expect it to be like doing like that. So what I did was that I get into basically editing the world from using like using some random software but yeah, if, if, if you know you know but basically i use a editing world software to first off i spawn myself back to like a random space place so basically i spawn myself away from this chunk from the chunk that has the contraption basically like i spawn them myself back into my home because i have the coordinate of my home in my footage so i can spawn back myself back into uh my home when world loading the for the for the uh, when i open my world and then from there i have to delete the whole chunk both like because the contraption is like two chunk right two chunks so i delete the whole chunk using the same like like world editor and i delete the whole chunk the two chunks and then that 
after that I can add I I can go here basically like, because I if I even even when I spawn back here spawn back in my home and I TP here or I go near this chunk the moment it load the contraption is gonna break my game again so I have to delete the both of the chunks and now I can go back here but for some reason I already delete both the chunk but for some reason it regenerate the chunk normally right so there's trees and stuff so that's fine and handy but for some reason the contraption is still there and it dropped the item down because it was not supposed to be there but because it, it is there the new the newly generated chunk like the trees and stuff break the contraption and it dropped the item down but because the contraption was, was not there supposedly it became a ghost entity because if you remember the contraption from create can become like ghost entity where you can go past them like, like not really park or past them but like you can you cannot interact with them but they will stay there when they they will like basically just stay there and not doing anything right you can you can't even go you can't really interact with them they stay there as block and for some reason they drop a bunch of items on the ground and i have to break the minecraft to like set them free from the like the contraption mode and after that i can clear everything because then i can interact with the blocks but for some reason like after all of that now i have like a bunch of <laughs> i do the everything it's, like i have how many chests are this like i remember i put um it's like a chest right so i have like more than more than that here i have six rotation speed controller even though i only put out one I have a billion windmill and then I have like a billion drill as well so I don't know how they do like how the dupe is happening uh, I guess because the minecraft and on, like cut assembler my cut assembler is gone by the way because yeah it's the, it's basically it's the like, it's the root of the whole thing that crushed the game so that's how it is like I basically fixed everything I don't have to leak my world or anything so that's plus but now i have a bunch of this i'm probably gonna throw them away or delete them but like the question here is that like, the question right now is that will i want to do it again because i have two theories the first is that either the cut assembler crushed the game which i doubt it is because some other people already do, did the uh, create thingy so I, do, I don't think it's the cut assembler and the, my second theory is that because I try to play big and I make a 16 by 16 which is, which is like a, a whole chunk so it's crashed the game because it's too big like too much NVT data but at the same time I feel like I haven't done anything with it yet and if you watch the footage like basically in the footage in the footage and before I set it down over here I already set it down at my base and it's fine and dandy there's there's nothing wrong with it and it works fine but for some reason when i go here i put it down it crashed my game so it could just be that because there's too much loading and it crashed something else is happening here which is why i f i feel like i will try to test this but with smaller versions so instead of 16 by 16 i'm probably doing half of it or even one fourth of it so 8 by 8 right or maybe 10 by 10 or something like that basically a smaller one i'll try to test it and if it's working and it's not like oh it's break my whole game because it's too big then we were still using the mechanical drill but if it's because of the cut assembler this thing that crushed my game then we will not using create to mine anymore and we will just solely using miner so yeah, uh, incident happened and well, that's kind of a funny thing. Oh, and my water iron flask didn't even show the the number. Of, oh wait, I have to F3H, right? F3H. Yeah, advanced tune tip. There we go. I thought it's like it didn't even show. It crashed my game. Okay. I have done like I, I sit here and I was thinking like for like three hours straight thinking trying to save this thing and yeah finally Jesus <laughs>
Well, I, I guess that's a lesson of uh, not to uh, play too big. <laughs> Trying to do a 16 by 16 and now it almost killed my game. It almost killed my load. I set fire. So, uh, I think that is a bit too much for this episode. I'll probably end this episode here. Because, well, I, I, need, to, I need a bit of time to like testing and doing things because we just fail a big time right there trying to play big so in between episode i'll try testing and uh if it works then next episode we will i will show you guys the like how it works and the result like the all the material that it mine up and some things like that but if it's not working then next episode i will um i guess i will make a we will try to make plain workbench this thing because when uh, i go around exploring using the horse we have the horse right i think the horse one thing i get in like i pump into is that the horse cannot like it's pretty hard to see at night and the horse like because there's so many tree when i play in f5 like this i will sometimes i will fall into the hole and i can't get the horse out and have to like tp back home and then get a new tp and then tp back and get the horse out and then tp like basically it's really annoying that's why i want to get a plane either a helicopter a plane or a large plane doesn't matter like some way to travel without having to like getting stuck in a, a hole or like on the ground so yeah i think that's gonna be the main focus for ne next episode try basically improving our way of traveling because eventually we will want to get dragons and i want to go further away from our like our base and further away from our spawn to get like more material and stuff right so i think that's how we are gonna be uh, that's what we're gonna do in the next episode but this episode i think it's gonna be the end of it and thank you for watching uh bye